Yeah. And welcome back. All right. Uh, the amount of XP, by the way, that you've gained through all of this, well, through, through this bit at least, uh, is going to be 1,500 experience points. So that puts it at 37? No. Or, I mean, wait, 1,500. Never mind, I had 15. Yeah, well, 15, yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's why I read that wrong. Okay. 1,500. 1,200, right? Yeah. Is that right? 17200, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do you have Herx as well as yours? Oh, yes. Yeah. Actually, what are we going to do with the Herx situation there? I'm, I'm actually about to address that. So Herx is going to go to the bar with Rand and then say goodbye. Yeah. Just so, um, here is... Or some sailor thing happens. I was about to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the story. We um, are going to need Herc's services elsewhere. On the seven seas. Right. So um, he's going to. Uh, it is a. Uh, it is a guild-based mission, but. You do have a week, if you would like, to uh, say your goodbyes before you go on this particular quest. It does involve uh, pirates and things like that. So Our, that is his his, his, he his just, history. He gets a grin from that. Uh, that for sure. Yeah, yeah Herc is <laughs> extremely happy that he actually gets to be back on the ocean <laughs> yeah. or on water. Yeah. Uh, it's basically kind of an infiltration. Working uh, undercover. Sounds like his style. He's infiltrating things. That's yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But uh, even if it might not, not be them. immediately, no, if, at way. some point, Rand and Herc spend a lot of time getting shit based together. It's probably going to happen in a second. Yeah, you do yeah. have a week before he has to leave if he wanted to take take some time. Okay. Um, I mean, he's got a good bit of gold on him now. He does. He yeah. absolutely does. <clears throat> oh shit, I forgot to update his gold thing. Yeah. The... So apparently he doesn't. Yeah, so he doesn't really. So what Rand does to his best friend and he steals 30,000 gold from him. Well, no. no. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Ooh, okay. So that is... That concludes our meeting. That's all, 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 all of that, that we really have. Um, okay. hmm? Sorry. Quoting Forrest Gump. Oh, gotcha. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> anyway, that's everything. You have uh, quite a few different routes that you can take to get to um, what we think might be the next locations yeah. of. Shards. As 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 information <clears throat> becomes available, it, it will be relayed to you in some format or another. And uh, cool, fare thee well. All right. Um. Well, I'm gonna go. He goes back to like writing. Yeah. He, he, like, he, like, it's like I'm gonna go to the College of Magi. Uh, I need three or four days there. Um, I'll okay. either come to you guys or you guys come to me. I'd in like to take the three days. The books that we actually brought with us because didn't we bring some? Of the I'm books? loaded with those books. Yeah, yeah. Those. the nature books, the ones that I wanted for. Okay, myself. yeah, and I wanted mm -hmm. the alchemy books. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going back to, to, back to the yeah. to go to sleep. Yeah. Anything with the nature related stuff, I want to look up more archery stuff too, and see if it was possible for me to find you know some sort of feature in those books that would help me understand and become better at what I'm doing. Take a couple days to study Some those. kind of feature. Um, when you go to ask for the alchemy mm -hmm. books, I'm going to suggest you come to Call of the Magi to study them there with some other alchemy yeah. people. That's most of what yeah, okay. it'll, it'll take you a while. Like, you can find that, that there is something in there that will help, but it's going to take you more than a week to. Well, yeah, I want to, like, keep, I want to find the spot that I'm looking for. Those and then working just at. read that for yeah. wow. Keep it with you. Practice it. with it, yeah. And I'm taking all of them. To the books to go to the Call of Magi, uh, and Rand. find what students are there, and ask them to start researching 
just like divvy out books to a multitude of people to help research what's in them, uh, what we can gain from them, just to right. kind of give me a synopsis of what's across a lot of them, then I'll study some like two, especially if I see there's anything uh, weird. ancient. <laughs> okay, um, these books are indeed ancient, yeah. right? And they contain information that um, it, it's varied. Yeah. Uh, now, magic back then wasn't exactly like it was. Like it is? Like it is now. And so it, it sort of it, it goes over the way that it functioned back then, mm -hmm. like old magic. And additionally, there's notes in there about some items, like cool. artifact items. Yes, the artifacts are what I'm interested in. Really powerful magic stuff. Mm -hmm. The location of which is not but I get expressly listed. From that I get a list of particular names or but descriptions. You, you, you can f like from from the studies and this will take a while. Yeah. Like you find a couple of mentions of certain artifacts which I'll get a list of yeah. at some point. Yeah. Uh just make sure that you know, remind me about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and there, there's like riddles and stuff about them, so you have to riddles that describe. Yeah, it it's or vague. Until I do it with the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> riddles in the dark. Very nice reference. Some joke. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna spend my time there also, trying to uh, get some people to enchant some things for my party and make some things and get some stuff for myself. They can do that. Now, it depends on what you want to chant it as, as to how long it will take yeah. and how much it will cost. Yeah, but I'm going to uh, kind of figure out discussing with them, deciding what's I'm going to make and what I'm going to go through with this time. Right. Um, during, well, I guess it, it will depend on what you need as far as how long you will wait. Uh, so, mm -hmm. what exactly? No, let me make some notes of this. What are you all trying to get? If you would like to purchase, I have a specific thing I would like to ask for, so I'm going to go first. Okay. I have nothing right now. Nothing off the top of my head. Okay, that's fine. You had Alex. Rand you is one. mostly now that he finally has money. He's still trying to do the whole utility belt thing. And that's why he was with him looking at the alchemy books, at mostly trying to find various types of poisons, any new kinds of bolts he could fire, anything like that in general. Just various things, not so much one item, but, you know, potions and stuff like that. I don't have anything in particular I'm looking for, but... Okay. Poisons, Give mostly. Give me a serendipity roll. Could I use your... Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Three. Huh. That's a six. Okay. And uh, cool. Alright. You come upon the the books that are pertaining to alchemy have detailed drawings of various plants and their associated seeds, right? The beans that you found. Ooh. How many beans do you have? Seven. Seven. Okay. Seven. <laughs> the beans that you have are what they call um, shambling beads or beans. Shambling right? beans. Shambling. And what happens is when you pick you this spot. <laughs> when you plant it into earth, right? It has to be like dirt. Yeah. Uh, and you pour a uh, Holy water. a specific kind of water on it. Like water that's been um, al alchemically 
uh, treated like like a, like a well, nutrient a thing. Okay. Too. Fertilizer water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Fertilized water. Uh, it will create, and this is feeding plants, and you can eat it, and not die. It will be. Uh, it's 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 concentration based. Uh, so you can lose control of it, but it will create in a round a shambling mound. Ooh. Which is basically a large living plant that, or I say living plant, plant, plant living, <laughs> but a, a, a large mobile plant that can attack and, and stuff. Yeah. Attack. Nice. So the monster. Yeah. Fucking awesome. No, don't fucking eat it. You don't want a monster burst. Yeah, I know it. not to it's eat, just like eat alien. them now. I'm actually re before I found out Herc had those I healing potions, I was gonna monster. put a bean down his throat because I thought they were gonna be like Sinzu beans. <laughs> mm. I'm glad yeah, I did not. Super dead. <laughs> like you didn't drink any any fertilized water, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. Excellent. So now you know what those do. And you wanted to do what now? Mostly I'm just looking for more like different kinds of poisons or... Oh. Not done. Okay. Or I, I need to, and I need to refill my... Uh, We're almost done. Buy more flame bolts. I, I want to buy pretty much... An array of An elemental array bolts. of elemental uh -huh. bolts. And then any poisons that are... Would be Attract available. Attract your eye to use. Like okay. maybe even 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 if it's just a dose. I mean, Rand doesn't care about just tossing money at shit. Right. Um, you want flame bolts? Yeah, I only have Wait. one left. That's shock. And but in huh? You have shock bolts. No, I've got a lot bolts. of those. I've got fifteen lightning bolts left. Shock bolts left. Oh, okay. Cause oh, I, that's right. Oh, I have, um, I've got a guy, Grim. He's my uh, clockwork guy, the guy that at? made the crossbow. Where's he at? He's in this city. He's in Sartak? Yeah. Isn't he? No? no. He's in a Leia car. He's oh, in, yeah, never mind. He's then. on the other side. Never mind then. Yeah, all right. So, the... Oh, shit. Magic items. Hang on. Each elemental arrow of whatever type that you purchase, and they do have some floating around. You can always go to Sven's, Sven's coffee shop. Right. And I just wanted to buy, like, you know, a quarrel of you know, 20. What is a. Shop of interesting they have. Mildly interesting things. Yeah. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> There it is. All right. Now magic arrows. Who are we talking to about this stuff again? Rare. What? What we're getting? Each bolt is going to cost uh, six hundred gold. Shit, this is a lot more expensive than That's six time. platinum. You have three hundred. I know, but it's still a lot well, more expensive. Well, no. We'll say that. Uh, it, right, it, it would be, um, See, the fucking bow only cost 2000 <laughs> Right, but each, each, each bolt had, has to be enchanted separately. Um, we'll say that it's either, uh, 500 per, per bolt, or if you wanted a set of 10, would be, uh, 4500 Buy nine, get one free. Um, actually, I'm just going to buy 45 platinum for... Well, no, I'm not even going to buy as many as I planned on, but... Jesus Christ, I wish we went back to... But, uh... Because these are... Uh, they're, they're uncommon. Right. The flame bolts is what we're talking about? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And... I'm just going to buy two, uh, so that's a thousand gold. It takes, it takes a fair amount of time to, like, enchant... Right. ...sets... <laughs> Of arrows, of yeah. Arrows. Or bolts. Or bolts, yeah. But you said it was 500 per? Is that what you said? Yes. 
Okay, so I'll just buy two of those. And what about, is it the same price if I was buying something that would be ice elemental? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then another, and then three of those. Would be 1500 So that's uh, 2500 in all. Yeah. Yes. 25 of your pets. Um, when you go to the uh, to the head mage of the University of Magi in Spartak City, mm -hmm. uh, of course, Maris in City on the Lake. Yeah. Um, getting another command word set up for your teleportation circle to mm -hmm. get you over to a uh will cost you twenty five thousand gold. Really is. So five thousand oh, each. I don't know if that's really necessary though. Ask your hand it's uh pocketbook now, if it is. I don't like that idea, but I'm just saying that yeah. it's possible, but it is it is pricey. Yeah, I don't know if it, I don't think it's necessary. Why? We don't need to hop around over there. We have plenty of things to do in plenty of places. Okay. Now, um, aside uh, from that, how much would it cost a silver rand? I mean, bark's teeth. <laughs> my fucking grill. Um, that's an interesting question. Like to just give. I mean, he's already he's got ar armor now. I mean, he needs it something take else. I know that that's another very, very specific thing. It, yeah, it's definitely custom work. They have to take a mold of the teeth and all that. And would have to construct a device. Well, let's you, just say I'm looking for someone that would be interested in it. I won't say... What about a device that attaches to bark? Similar to a, a muzzle that just has a hook on it or something that like That has silvered, like... You'd be like an alien? No, like a <laughs> tiger thing. No, it's or, it's it's like an a, a like helmet a muzzle almost. That, okay. That has it's like jaw and so when he bites it does the bite and it would do like silver or whatever damage. Now that I would be interested in. Again, that is custom work. Right. But, and it would take a little so, while to do. Like I said, let's just say I'm looking for someone to do a job like that. Well, there's tons of, of blacksmiths in town. Yeah, you you can find someone without. Well, I guess for silver it would have to be a white smith, but silversmith. That's racist. No, it's silversmith. They, they I, just I, work I with, with different types of metal. Is all. You wanted to speak with someone about. Yes, an enchantment. Your your bow. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I have a bow, and uh -huh. there's fire damage on my request, right? Okay. How much would it cost to get an enchanted with something similar to Chromatic Orb, where I could choose the type of damage when I put a Mmm. Jesus fuck. Mmm. I'd be willing to make it once per day that I could choose it. If it would reduce the price. It would. It definitely would. How much time do you have? Well, I do whatever I want to ask man. <laughs> well, it depends on it. That will also have an effect on the price because we we can bring in more mages to to, to handle it, but it's it's going to increase the cost if you want it done faster. How long are we taking before we do this? Because basically, what happens? Are we in any rush? I don't I'm in no rush, but we have um, to disenchant the bow and then reenchant. Disenchant and, and disenchanting a fire was nothing. Reenchant, uh, but the the, the reenchantment's going to take some time. How long? A couple weeks. Just a couple weeks. I mean, if I wanted it done like you know, two, three days, it cost a shit ton more. Right. But, so I don't want to do that. That'd be stupid. Figure we could take a couple weeks, make sure we're you know, good to go and ready from the whole time our bullshit. Okay, yeah. You know, so like, no, because I ain't trying. I, I Rand ain't trying to go straight off into some other time thing. With, link, with some limit on, obviously, just as long as you need to take. Yeah. How much would it be? <sighs> no rush on you at all. 
10,000 gold. 10,000? So, how many platinum is that? 100. 100? Deal. Excellent. Oh, and the bump up bow up to a plus two. That's Whoa, when I first bought it, it wasn't very much expensive. at all. That's true. I think it was like 5,000 gold. Hang on. Or it was 55, I think. Right. Fuck, I forgot to do something like that. What? It doesn't uh, matter because we're, we're way in. out of the tower. We can go back really quickly. As, as, as soon as you ask me, you, I can. Well, no, I was just well, going to. It, it was just a flavor once. thing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use like. You could take one of the salad words like bones. Yeah. Like, you really could. Gold it and like <laughs> use that to. Like inscribe the name of my crossbow on it. Hmm. Just, it like I said, it was just flavor, yeah. so it's not a big deal. It's going to be another ten thousand. Two hundred five. Yeah. Okay. I should this plus one. Jesus fuck! I thought Rand was easy with gold. I can do any kind of damage elemental loss now. A day. Once per day, I can change it. Mm -hmm. That's what it'll be once per day. Would once per encounter change the price on it? Uh, once per encounter would. How much? Yeah. Well, uh, is this going to be? He can change it to whatever he wants once per day, but then does that kind of elemental damage just all the time? The rest of the day. Yeah. The yeah. Rest of that day. Okay. And then. I'm assuming after a long rest would be what we normally assume is the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So after a long rest, I can pick whatever old next time. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Well, actually, let's do this. It will have... Um, let's bump it up to... Um, twice? Not twice, no. Probably one and a half, like, say, uh, 15,000. And it will have charges. It will have... Three charges. Meaning what? Meaning three times per long rest you can adjust what kind of damage it does. And at the end of. Uh, let's make it four charges. And then at, at, at the end of. or at like the next dawn, we'll say, it regains 1d4 charges. Be long rest, but okay. So that. So in that case, it's it's got four charges. So I can go from fire to ice to poison to electric, thunder, or whatever. Thunder, yeah. Yeah. If you only change it thunder. once, though, that still lasts the rest of the day. That or yeah. would it just okay. Yeah, it's it's like attuned to whatever format you have it. Maybe I can change it. I can have four different types of it throughout that period of the day. Yeah. So if I wanted to, I could go from fire to ice, back to fire. Yeah, and the next day... Exactly. Yes. Yeah, and the next day you might only get one charge back, or you might get four back, just depending on how you roll. Yeah. Maybe I'm... At dawn, you roll at dawn, a d4. You roll a d4, and it regains that many charges. So I see why you switched up to a four now. Mm -hmm. For how much? Fifteen. Fifteen? Mm -hmm. Am I guaranteed to get all the charges back? Well, there's inconsistencies with converting a uh, spell into a weapon. Leave it at 10 then, and I'll just take the one. Okay. This one. Uh, Not that big of a deal, I'll just switch it the next day. So, you should just sit on yours for now. I'm going to sit on mine for now. Okay. I'll think of something later. Yeah, but yeah, you know, you know, paying for it, don't you get it, so it doesn't matter. Ooh. Okay, now, Neat. Uh, that will take a couple weeks. The, um, of course, the first week you have to party with Kirk before he has to leave and go do his thing. I might go out one night, but I want to be in the college the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> Still using all my free time to study the books. Mm -hmm. Well, the book. Right. In between, honey. We'll, we'll, we'll work on that. 
Oh, work on that as well. Figure something out. Uh, I, know actually, what I know what feet I'm actually looking for. Hmm? I know what feet I was actually looking for. Okay. It's a possibility. It was the marksman. To get the marksman ability yeah. to avoid cover yeah. and yeah. sniper? Yeah, yeah. sniper. Yeah. Whatever headshot. it's called. Yeah. The headshot one. Yeah. Where, where you can do additional damage with them. And shoot damage. the maximum yeah, of yeah. your range and Because I've already avoid called headshots with cover. out the maximum damage added to it anyway. So it's true. Might as well get it. Alright. Yeah. Uh, well, well. I'll figure out exactly how much time that will take here. Um, we're out of time. We've got a lot of, of things, things to do in this one, and a lot of things to do. And the next session is going to be Evil. the Evil Campaign, which we'll talk about. Uh, and yeah. Until next time, guys. I won't say that. That's for, too. My, that's for my Vichy games. Anyway, Vichy games. Later! Later! Bye bye.